Hello Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be a book unhaul. If you saw my video, extra video that I put up last week, then you'll know that I've been buying books recently and I've had to make some space on my shelves because I've got a couple more books to come which are already on pre-order. Um, and yeah, I need to make some space on my shelves for those books to fit in as well. So I thought I'd go through and have a little bit of an unhaul for you and let you know what I'm getting rid of. Um, most of these I think have been in hauls um, and book reveals over the course of the last few years. So you will have seen them at some point, but now I've decided that I'm not going to read them. So the first book that's on top of the pile is Implanted by Lauren C. Tafo. This is about a young woman who is blackmailed into doing some work for a clandestine organisation. Um, but it has um, issues with a neural community that she belongs to. Um, and yes, um, she's exploited and it's about um, what happens to her when she tries to get out of that. It's science fiction. Science fiction do I rarely read. Um, even just reading the back of this, I don't really think that I'm ever going to read this. So I'm going to look and see if I can either give this to charity or maybe to my local library. So the second book uh, was one that came from a young adult book box subscription that I used to have a couple of years ago. And that book is The Deep Blue Between by Aisha Haruna Atta. I think I've got that right. Apologies if I haven't. This is about two sisters who go on separate journeys. They are connected through their dreams. So I think there's a little bit of magical realism involved here. Other than that, I'm not really sure what it's about. Um, it doesn't speak to me. The cover is very pretty, but I am never going to read it, uh, let's be honest. Um, so again, yes, it's another one that I'm going to say goodbye to. And the third one is another science fiction book, and that is The Return of the Incredible Exploding Man. This sounds a bit like the Invisible Man type story. Um, there is an accident at a nuclear plant and something happens to this man who's the main focus of the story and we go from we go from there um i'm never going to read it the invisible man isn't a story that's ever really appealed to me reading the back of this it doesn't intrigue me so again yeah it's another one that i've decided that i am going to say goodbye to the next is one that i've read um and i actually read this for my book club that I belong to and I think we read this at the beginning of 2021 that book is Dragonfly by Layla Meacham this is an historical fiction novel set during the second world war when five young Americans because they have language skills with German I think and maybe French um they are dropped into France to act as spies and um, it's about what happens to them one of them um goes missing and you don't find out what happens until the very end of the book. I enjoyed it at the time, however, it's definitely not one I'm going to reread. And I don't really know anyone in my circle of friends who would read it either. Um, so, yes, I'm going to pass this one on as well. And the next one is one that I got when I went on a reading retreat a couple of years ago now, um, organised by Jess McGlynn. Um, so yeah, um, she gave us all a blind book um, as part of that and this was mine and my book was All the Lonely People by David Owen. Um, it's about a young woman who has an online personality and a personality to her people in real life and to her, her online personality is her real personality but she's targeted by um, some alt-right trolls and she feels she has no option but to disappear. Um, I think it's probably a good take on the online world that we now inhabit um, and social media. However, it's not for me. Um, I've read the back a couple of times since I've had this book and not once has it actually spoken to me or have I thought, yes, I'll read it one day. Um, definitely never going to read it. So I'm going to put it in the hands of somewhere that will find people to read it and the next one is another one that I have read and that book is Why Mummy Drinks by Jill Sims 
Um, this was given to me by a work colleague who read it, found it funny, but wasn't going to reread it, so she passed it on to me. I've read it, found it mildly amusing. I'm never going to read it, so let, let's let pass it on. Um, there are sequels. Um, I'm never going to read those. Jill Sims is the author of a Facebook page called Peter and Jane, which is actually really quite amusing. Um, however, translated into book format, it just didn't work for me. Um, and yeah, sadly, I'm going to pass that one on as well. And the next one is again sci-fi, and that is Uploaded by Ferret Steinmetz. I don't think you can see the cover very well. There we go. Um, this is a book uh, where... The elderly um, have uploaded their consciousness online, so it's kind of like a um, digital heaven. Um, and they're kind of ruling the world, I think, from there. Don't really know much more about it than that, other than some young people aren't happy with that situation and they decide to change it. It sounds a bit Matrixy. y um, I was never a big fan of The Matrix. I enjoyed the films, but I'm not rushing out to watch the new ones. So yeah, so that's another one, never going to be read, and I won't be sad to part with it. The next one is one I might regret, but I probably won't. But that book is The Light Between Worlds by Laura Weymouth. Again, I'm going to hold it closer. Um, yeah, it's about two sisters during the First World War, I think. Um, one is quite happy with the world they inhabit, the other one isn't. I think there might be some magical realism here and I think one sister might be able to cross over into another world um, and the other sister wants to know that she is happy. Um, other than that, don't really know anything about it. Initially, I took this off my mum's shelf because she was going to get rid of it um, and I said, oh no, I think I might read that one. But it's been on my bookshelves for two years now and not once have I picked it up to look at it. So yes, this is probably going to go as well. The next one is a horror novel that came in um, a book box that I had last year. It was a special edition, horror edition. I really don't think I'm going to read it. That book is Halcyon by Rio Yours. It's about uh, this utopia called Halcyon and um, a man after some traumatic events happened to him and his family, he decides to move his family there. Things aren't all that they seem. Initially I was intrigued by it but as time goes on I'm less and less intrigued. I've read the back um, just now before filming this and yeah, I'm never going to read it. Let's be honest, I'm never going to read it. Um, and if I do read it, I can probably get it from the library, but it's just never one that I'm going to automatically reach for. So yeah, it's another one that can go to people who are going to enjoy it and love it. And the next one is another one that I've read, but I didn't actually enjoy it. And that book is The Silence of Herondale by Joan Aiken. Again, this came in the horror box in October last year. And I read it. It's only short. It's only a little one. I didn't really enjoy it that much. Um, and I'm never going to read it again. Uh, I actually did review it um, in my, I think, my October wrap up. Um, if you want to go back and find that one or I'll leave it linked in the cards but yep yeah, this one's definitely going as well because I'm never going to reread it I didn't enjoy it enough to keep it and the next one again came from a book subscription a young adult book subscription box and that is One for Sorrow uh, The Magpie Society by Zoe Sugg and Amy McCulloch initially I was kind of intrigued by it it's about a murder that happens on a campus um, and then it follows two young students um, who are involved in some way, I think. I don't really know. I can't really tell from the blurb. I'm never going to read it. As I've said with all the other books, I am never going to read it. Um, it's been on my shelf and I look at it and think, why am I keeping it? So perfect opportunity to get rid and pass it on. Um, to someone else. I'm not even sure if there is a sequel or if there's going to be a sequel but it kind of the title does kind of indicate that it would be a series um, but I've been to I've had this book for two years now nearly um, and there's no sequel on the shelf in Waterstones that I can see 
um, and I haven't seen one anywhere else. So yeah, definitely if I'd started it, I'm not going to continue. So definitely going to pass along to someone else. And the final book is The Doll Funeral by Kate Hamer. Um, I'm never going to read it. It's about a young girl who has been abducted. Um, I think she's been abducted. You don't really know, but she knows that the people she lives with are not her real parents and she can see spirits. Um, so again, a little bit fifth, no, not fifth element. The Sixth Sense, no. I can't remember, that one with the little boy and um, Bruce Willis um, and he can see dead people. Um, so kind of like that sort of thing, but maybe a bit more of a horror um yeah i'm not gonna read it um i don't really like the premise of it um yeah i'm, I'm gonna pass it along i wasn't i said when it arrived in the book box um i wasn't that enamored by it uh so definitely going to get rid of this one okay so that's 12 books uh that i have taken off of my shelves there probably are one or two more if I really looked at it, but there are a couple that I'm not quite sure. Um, I might read them or I might not. Um, and at the moment, I'm not quite ready to let them go. So yes, I will um, hang on to those for a while, but those 12 are definitely, um, I'm gonna ask at my library if they'll take donations. If not, then I'll, I'll um, distribute them around my local charity shops. Do you get rid of books regularly? I know I certainly don't um, because the majority of my books are on my Kindle um, and a lot of the books that are on my shelves are now becoming ones that I've read uh, rather than ones I want to read. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you do about uh, keeping books. I'd love to chat with you in the comments down below. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already, then please subscribe to the channel. I make videos, they normally go up every Monday at 6.30pm, but very occasionally you get the odd extra like this month, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye!